Hello everybody, this is Oliver from NEO and today we are going to talk about matcha bars and actually what I want to bring you a little bit closer to is what's the matcha actually used in a matcha bar. Matcha bars are actually in vogue, a lot of them are opening up little by little, more and more and more and more and more people are going into the matcha and I believe you are also knowledgeable about matcha but what I want to present you today is actually what kind of tea is used in a matcha bar. So when you go to a matcha bar and you order your latte often you have some kind of culinary grade matcha. Culinary grade matcha is actually mostly matcha coming from the second, third or even fourth harvest of matcha. So actually it is a matcha which is less strong in taste and not as sweet as it can be in the harvest of spring. Now what they, what actually people are doing is that you add sugar to the matcha, you add sugar to the milk, you should, you add sugar into the matcha itself or uh, you use honey agave syrup or something to sweeten the matcha to derive the matcha a little bit away from the stringency matcha has from the second or the third harvest because what's important to know is often that the second the third or fourth harvest is not covered anymore um, from the sun because the sun covering or shading actually prevents or uh, prevents the plant to derive a little bit more into uh, from uh, the sweet theanine going into uh, the more bitter catechins and this in the second third or fourth harvest is mostly not done anymore color wise how does this look like when we just look at these two matcha here we have a typical culinary grade lower grade matcha it's not a bad matcha in terms of quality that it's not drinkable. It's just a lower quality matcha and you can really see it. Here I have the ceremonial matcha uh, Vashimine, this, um, this one here. And here's the tin, this one here. And the other one is actually a culinary matcha, which is finally used for lattes. This one here, it's impossible to drink it pure. Yes, it is possible to drink it pure, but it's going to be pretty bitter. If you love astringency, bitterness, this one is as absolutely your case. But what is also the fact that it has a more malty taste and it has a less herbal, sweet and complex meaning, like different notes in its taste. So it's rather be going to be a flat taste while when you're using a ceremonial matcha, you have very different taste buds. And this is really the main reason. So if you actually want to drink a pure matcha, I recommend you absolutely to use ceremonial matcha. Ceremonial matcha is a kind of a, a, a little bit of a boom word used around matcha. What you have to reassure yourself is just that you really have first harvest high quality matcha. This is, uh, recognizable due to the deep green color which this one has and the further it goes away from this deep green and more into this yellowish or maybe even grayish color there you actually have um, matcha which is of lower quality from second third or even fourth harvest where you really are just picking the last leaves of the season with the le least amount of minerals, with the least amount of sweetness and the most amount of astringency. When you're looking for absolute detox, this tea has a lot of catechins and a lower amount. This one has it too, but the theanine counterbalances as well the astringency. So here you definitely have the better choice, especially in minerals and um, all the positive ingredients of green tea you have it inside here here you have it a little bit less nevertheless it's not a bad or a bad for your body matcha it's just not as good in per terms of minerals and as well in taste that's the main difference between these two matchas both of them you can use it to do a matcha but finally i recommend to you really to go for the weather one and this one is the ceremonial matcha like the one 
I present to you. So, you can do it in the cup or in the glass, however you want it, but uh, this is something or a basic rule I would recommend to you. So, I wish you good night and take care.